Welcome to our lecture online. Today we're going to talk about some algebra. In specific, we're going to talk about exponents and all the rules related to exponents. So this is an introduction to the various rules and how to apply them. So here we are, definition of exponents. So let's say that we have some number a raised to the nth power that is equal to a times a times a, however many there are, n number of times. So when you put n number of a's together, you multiply them together, that's the same as saying a to the n. And as an example, let's say we have the number uh, 3 to the fourth power, that's equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, four times like that. So that's the definition of exponents. So I have all kinds of rules that we have to be able to apply. So let's say the first rule we deal with is the product rule. So if we have, for example, an a to the n power times a to the m power, where n and m are two different exponents. This is equal to a to the n plus m power. So when the bases are the same, and so the a and the, the number a is called the base, and n and m are called the exponents, if the bases are the same, then when they're multiplied like this, we simply add the exponents. As an example, if we have you know, a to the second power plus uh, not plus, because then this doesn't work, but times, uh, times a to the third power, this is simply a to the 2 plus 3, or a to the fifth power. Of course, if the bases are not the same, for example, if we have a to the second power times b to the third power, well, that we can't do anything about, that's simply still a to the second power, b to the third power, because we can't simplify that any further. So only when the bases are the same can we add exponents. So just like the product rule, we have a quotient rule. If we have a to the n power divided by a to the m power, again, when the bases are the same, in this case, we simply subtract exponents. So this is equal to a to the n minus m power. As an example, if we have a to the n, instead of a, I'll use a number. So let's say we have 5 to the, uh, let's say, fourth power divided by 5 to the second power. That's equal to 5 to the 4 minus 2 or 5 to the second power, which of course is 25. But just so you can see the rules, when we divide one number that's raised to an exponent divided by the same number that's raised to a different exponent, we simply subtract exponents in that case. All right, now the power rule. What if we have, for example, a to the n power, and the whole thing is raised to the m power? In this case, we're going to multiply the exponents. So this is the same as saying a to the n times m. As an example, if we have 5 to the second power, and that's raised to the fourth power, that's equal to 5 to the 2 times 4. So here we multiply the exponents, so this is equal to 5 to the 8 power. All right, next rule, negative exponents. That's a really handy one. For example, if you have a to the minus 3 power, or I'll keep it in a more general sense, uh, a to the minus n power does the same as saying 1 over a to the plus n power. So we simply move that to the denominator and turn it into a positive exponent. Likewise, if the negative exponent happens in the denominator, for example, 1 over a to the minus n power, that's the same as a to the positive n power. And we can move it to the numerator and turn it into a positive exponent. As an example, if we have 1 over 5 uh, to the negative 3 power, that's equal to 5 to the third power. Or, if we have, let's say, 6 to the minus 2 power, that's the same as 1 over 6 to the positive 2 power. Simply move the number with the exponent to the numerator or denominator, and you can change the sign. Zero exponent. That's kind of an interesting one. Let's say we have some number, a, to the zero power that is always equal to 1. That's one that always puzzled me. So that doesn't make any sense. How can something raised to a zero power equal one? But actually it makes sense because let's say we have a to the fifth power divided by a to the fifth power. Well, using our quotient rule right here, we know that the answer to that is a to the five minus five, which is a to the zero power. Well, remember that when you have a fraction where the numerator is exactly the same as the denominator, that is always equal to one. So therefore it makes sense that a to the zero power also equals 1. All right, finally products. What if we have two numbers multiplied together? So for example, we have a times b, and that's raised to the n power. Well, the n distributes itself over each of the uh, numbers inside the parentheses, so this is equal to a to the n times a to the, oh, times b to the n 
That'll do numbers b times b to the n. Of course, you cannot do that when this is a plus. a plus b to the n power, that's very different. But if it's like this, you simply apply the exponent to each of the numbers inside the parentheses. And same with quotients. If this is a over b raised to the n power, that's equal to a to the n divided by b to the n. The same thing. So you can distribute that power to all of the numbers inside the parentheses like that. So there's a quick little introduction to how you deal with exponents in algebra. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of examples of how we can simplify by using these various rules, things that seem a lot complicated with lots of exponents down to something that's a lot simpler to look at. So here you go, good introduction, now let's do some examples.